In this video, we will discuss quasi-experimental designs. These designs are quite similar to experimental designs, but they always lack the key feature of random assignment. Just like randomized experiments, quasi-experiments are generally used to demonstrate a causal relationship. In some cases, the researcher can manipulate the independent variable, but is unable to perform random assignment, that is, assign participants randomly to the conditions. For example, suppose we want to investigate the effect of playing violent video games on aggressive behavior in young children. It could be that parents are only willing to let their child participate if they can decide whether their child is exposed to a violent video game or to a puzzle game. This parent-selected assignment is obviously not random. So, in this example, random assignment is lacking. In other cases, the independent variable is an individual difference variable and can't be manipulated. Suppose that we wanted to investigate the effect of gender on aggressiveness. This automatically entails a quasi-experimental design, since we cannot assign children to be a boy or a girl for the purpose of our study. Let's look at some quasi-experimental designs. We will consider five designs. The static group comparison design, the pretest posttest non equivalent control group design, the one group pretest posttest design, the interrupted time series design, and replicated interrupted time series designs. The static group comparison design is the simplest design. This design is similar to the two group experimental design with just comparing two groups after exposure to the independent variable on the post-test. The only difference is that the static group comparison design does not involve random assignment. This means that the selection threat to internal validity is always present. The selection threat also makes the causal direction more ambiguous. What if more permissive parents with more aggressive children selected the violent video game, showing a higher aggressiveness to start out with? Did violent stimuli cause aggression, or did permissiveness and aggression lead to the selection of violence? This problem could be fixed by extending the design to a pretest posttest non equivalent control group design by simply adding a pretest. With this design, we are able to determine whether there were any pre existing differences on the dependent variable. If we can show that such differences don't exist, we have firmly disambiguated the causal order. The designs discussed so far are those in which the independent variable varies between participants, so comparisons between treatments and control conditions can be made. Unfortunately, it's not always possible to use a control group. In that case, you could use a one-group pretest posttest design. With just one group being measured before and after the intervention. One way to improve the one group pretest posttest design is to include more measures of the dependent variable before and after exposure to the independent variable. We refer to this design as an interrupted time series design. More observations before and after the treatment allow you to establish any natural change in the dependent variable. Suppose we only have access to the violent video game group, but we have measurements at several time points. Aggressiveness increases slightly during the entire study. The change is the same just before and after exposure, indicating that there might not be an effect on aggressiveness. Now consider different results. Aggressiveness doesn't change until the violent video game is played. Immediately after, aggressiveness remains stable at a high level, indicating a long-lasting effect. The results could also look like this. 
aggressiveness increases slightly before the violent video game is played, and the results show a jump in aggressiveness only after exposure, and the same slight increase after that. Of course, it would be wise to check whether any other events occurred right after the sudden jump that might form a history threat to internal validity. One way to check whether there truly is not a history effect is to use a replicated interrupted time series design. This design adds a second group of participants for whom the dependent variable is measured at the same time point but without any intervention. If we see the same pattern for the second group, there's probably a history thread present. The design could also be implemented by exposing a second group to the same intervention but at a different time. If the effect also shows if the participants are exposed to the intervention two months later, we can be sure it was actually caused by the violence video game. To summarize, in quasi-experimental designs, participants are not randomly assigned to the levels of the independent variable. These designs are generally used to investigate causal relationships.